Welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Canva AI image generator in 2024. This is a step-by-step -step guide. Now we're going to dive in. It's January of 2024. So this is fresh new tutorial, fresh new content for you. Let's dive in real quick. So we're inside of Canva. Now this used to be about four months ago or so for about the last year, some type of, of technology has been uh, available inside of Canva in the last in 2023. But up until about three or four months ago, this was actually called text to image. But if we go over here in the search box, there is no text to image anymore inside of Canva. And even if we go inside and check apps, you're not going to see text to image anymore. It's because this has been rebranded to the Magic Studio. The Magic Studio is the all the power of AI all in one place. This is when you can come in here and you can use this magic design right here magic design for presentations, magic design for video, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But the main part and you can even use magic right over here, they just continue to keep coming out with more and more of these tools, magic switch, magic animate, magic morph, I'm gonna have to make videos and tutorials on all of these. But we do have this little, looks like this text to image. If I click on that, let's just go see what this does for us. Because if we go try this out, I'm going to try it out and we'll see what it ends up being. The text to image is no longer called text to image. Look, it takes us to magic media. This is called magic media. It's part of the magic studio. We can check, we can choose our aspect ratio over here, which is super cool. We have portrait landscape and square. So I'm going to go with landscape because I like to create YouTube thumbnails with my Canva account. And it's really cool. You can use portrait, you can use square for Instagram and such and logos and so forth and portrait as well but we're going to go with landscape for fun. I think that's what you're going to have the most wide range of use cases for blogging for featured images and blogs, or if you're going to create an image and post it in the middle of your blog, or if you're going to use this for a YouTube thumbnail, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. This is going to be a widely used dimension or aspect ratio. So landscape, and then we're going to come over here and we can just go in and use image. And so we can go in here and we can just say something like a blue and red clown clip art for kids in the mall, something like that. And then now we can go over here, we can start saying, hey, we want an anime, we want dreamy, we want, you can see all by clicking on that, the neon, we have a uh, vibrant, let's go with vibrant and just see what it's going to come up with for us. And then we will go and generate the image. So now we can go over here and start looking at the different dimensions. Now it did take us in right here, it took us into a square dimension, but I'll show you how we can fix that in just a minute. Most of what I show you is in the pro account because it's just Canva is on steroids when you use it in the pro account. But n normally what you would want to do if you're in the free account is you're going to want to go over here, you're going to want to go to create design. And then you're going to want to go to YouTube thumbnail if that's the image size that you're going for. And then you're going to go um, over into elements and you're going to scroll down. One of the first things that you're going to come across is this generate your own and you're going to get right back to this. So it's super easy. It's always available under elements. You can go in as well. So let's go back and see what kind of clown images we got. So this is pretty cool. We can go and look at this. And one thing I'm going to go push the delete button. I like this usually works as you hover it over and then it will uh, just uh, go into the full size right there. Super cool, scary and freaky, but fun as well. Then we can come over here and we can see if we can use another one right over here just by hovering over and it will automatically large right there. So pretty weird. But I've realized that or I've noticed that with the AI images, dragging and dropping them like I just did sometimes doesn't work. So you'll end up having to just go like that and drag it up like the old school method like that. And you'll have to just drag it down like that. Another quick tip is that if you wanted to recenter, you can double click right there and you can move this around where you like it and then you can click off as well. So that's a really cool way to do this. But let's go and find some more that we want to go. So we'll go and let's see if we can uh, go with changing the dimensions of this. So let's go back over here. I'm going to click the go back button and we're going to go with square this time. And then we're going to go and we're going to try the anime right there. And we're going to get the same, let's say blue and red clown clip art. And notice that it didn't really do the clip art last time because of it's very important what style you choose. 
in a shopping mall setting, control A, control copy. I want to copy that prompt because we're going to see what kind of results we can get depending on what we choose over here. So if I go with an anime right here, and then we're going to go with square and generate the image, we'll just test around with the square today. But I just want to show you the different results that we can get with using this AI image generator. And we're going to get a lot closer to what we're looking for right here, right? So we've got this clown right over here. It's getting closer to that clip art style, right? We could duplicate this and then we could come up here and we could try to edit this image and go background remover and hopefully it will remove the background if we don't want them to be in a mall. We could change the mall out with different mall settings, but in this case, it, the background remover didn't really work, right? So we could also go and see with on a blank page what this will look like as well. So we have these clowns over here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with new page. One more thing that I wanna say is I wanna say white, full white, background. So if we go full white background and we try that one again, let's see what we can come up with. And there's our first one. So we can go ahead and click on that. So we're getting some, we definitely need some better prompts, but this is just to test out what we can get. But at least we have a white background that we could actually take this and use it for different things. Okay. So then now we got some very interesting stuff over here, right? That is very unique. Like this one right over here, very unique stuff right there. Very artistic. We can come over here and we can try, let's try one more and I'm going to go into styles and then we're going to go, we have 3D model, we have a colored pencil and we have ink print. So let's go with an ink print this time and see what that one generates for us. Okay, perfect. So here are some more clip arts. We've got a uh, happy one right there. Let's go and see what some of these other ones look like. Maybe this one right here. So we are definitely getting some interesting artwork right over here. Not really getting a clip art for kids or maybe like an elementary style. Uh, I want to see if there's maybe the 3D or 3D model concept art might be the best one. Let's generate one more time and see if we can get a little bit better clip art with concept art. Yikes, this one is scary looking. Let's go ahead and duplicate this page, getting some really crazy stuff right here. Look at that. That is just crazy. Definitely not for kids. That is very Halloween-ish nightmare on Elm Street. So these are some great drawings, but we are having a hard time finding like a kid's one, right? So let's go over here to another place so we can maybe find some art that we want to look for and see if we can find some better prompts. It's really hard to come off, come up with prompting, but people that have been sitting here prompting and finding the exact prompt to get the right artwork, that's what makes AI art really good. So let's, we can go to a site and get some help. And it's called lexica.art. If we type in clip art right here, we can actually come in here and start looking for the type of clip art that we want. So we come in here, this is a really good clip art right there. And I'm thinking even this one right here, or we have even those stickers right there are pretty cool. We can try the stickers out, or we have Let's try this one. I'm going to um, click on that one. Nope, that prompt is not a prompt. So if we click on this one, we can see some keywords that they're using. We have a uh, cartoon is really what we want to use. Dreaming of presence with thoughtful bu bubbles. So maybe a cartoon. So now you can come back in here and you could actually say blue and red clown clip art for kids. And I'm going to say... Instead of clip art, let's try cartoon. We're gonna say cartoon and we're gonna say generate as well. So this is a good way that you can come in here and find some clip art and look at what they did to prompt and see if you can get something similar. Like right over here, we have short haired girl wearing tank top and short skirt, walking game art, full body view. So you could take something like this. Once you find what you're looking for, you could copy the prompt and then you could come in here and let's just see. So here we didn't get much better right over here. For whatever reason, the AI image inside of Canva really wants to do some scary stuff, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch this back up. I'm gonna paste that in right there. 
and let's just see what we can get with concept art with this one. And you once, like I said, you've got to try the different styles out to see what kind of art you're going to get in here. And once you find the right prompt and the right style combination, then you can start changing out. Like right over here, this is really good. We can come over here and start looking at this concept art is going to be very similar to what we just saw right over here. This is more like a sticker type thing. And then we have this, those look really close. Look at that, just a different type of art. So you can come in here and get some different artwork done right over here. So I'm gonna dra do the drag and drop right there. And there you go. That's what I recommend doing is going into um, Lexico and you can go and start seeing like this fox right here. So small baby fox walking in summer on the field right here but maybe we go and we copy this prompt, we come back in here and then we paste it in and instead of it being a fox, we say, I don't, I'm not gonna try clown again, let's just say a lion. Let's try a lion and let's go generate right here and see what it's gonna come up with us for this one right here for a lion. And that's how you can go and grab the prompt that created this clip art looking uh, piece of art right here. And then we can come back over here and get some pretty good stuff. Look at that, it looks like a lion, it looks like Simba right there. Really good stuff right there. So we're getting some really good clip art. And then you can go and sell these on Etsy. You could do all kinds of different cool things. You could even use this as clip art, but we would want, maybe we would go in and say white background if you want to do a cutout. So if I wanna come over here, and we would mess around with this and we would say something like a white background and try to achieve the same lion without the background. Another thing, always go and test and just see if you can get rid of the background. It may or may not work for you. I'm gonna try it real quick one last time. And it was able to work that time. So then now we have this lion clip art that you can now go and put together a bundle of cute lion clip arts like this that n are nowhere to be found on earth other than you generating them yourself. You can go in there and create a really nice uh, lion cub artwork, clip art pack and so forth. So super cool. This is a great fun way to start getting used to using the AI image generator in Canva in 2024. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.